It's Fun Fact Friday, and today we are talking about maxiofacial prosthesis. These include the artificial eye and some of the surrounding tissue. We're going to overhaul this bad boy today, and that starts off with removing all the old eyelashes. These sit into a very nice groove on the upper eyelid, and so we're going to start off with cleaning up that groove, removing all of the glue, making sure that it's nice and smooth, and confirming with running a fingernail up and across it. Once things are cleaned up, we're going to touch up some paint from all of the handle and wear and tear. Paint touch-up is concluded when we start coating the PMMA in monopoly. This essentially is like clear fingernail polish that coats all of the color that we have on this piece. Lots and lots of coats and then a hard cycle of drying. Then we want to protect all the areas that need to remain shiny, the eye and that lower lid margin. And now comes the fun part. We get to sandblast it to help remove all of that shine. This is one of the pieces that makes them very realistic because the skin is such a unique, dull texture. So we're gonna remove down that shine even that much more. You can see how much of a mess this process is. And we get to pull the tape and reveal all of the shiny areas. Now that we are all retextured and painted, we're gonna make sure that that groove for the eyelashes is nice and clean yet. Measure out our eyelashes for length and then add some glue in that groove and place very firmly our eyelashes down into that groove. You can stack them, you can trim them, you can give them all the characteristics that's needed to make them match the other side. You can see they're almost a little too perfect here. We'll go in and Kind of trim them up a little bit and make sure they have natural characteristics. Now into the final stretch of the process, we get to make those wet areas look even more wet. So we add the lacrimal lake and give it another good dry. This particular patient has a conformer within the socket with a magnet that connects to the outer piece. When it clicks into place, we have no gaps. The glasses are on and you can hardly even tell that that's a maxiofacial prosthesis, which is today's Fun Fact Friday.